Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get started using Polymer on your site. And now we're going to be installing Polymer using Bower. So if you haven't used Bower, don't worry. We're going to give you a little bit of a introduction and, and show you how to get going with that as well. Not too long, but just enough to get started. So get ready. We're going to get Polymer started in a new project right now. <music> So to get started, we can try downloading the Polymer Starter Kit. Now this is something that Google set up so that you can get going with Polymer right away and it uses some uh, built-in defaults and uh, default boilerplate code for you. So we can go ahead and get that just by clicking the Download Polymer Starter Kit. Okay, now here it takes you to the GitHub page uh, where you have the latest release. And here's the various available downloads. We have the beginner version, which is uh, light. We have the intermediate, which is for advanced users. And we have it for a Yeoman user where you can use the Yeoman uh, generator for Polymer. Since we're just going to be using this beginner version, we can go ahead and click download here. And it's going to give us the latest version of the starter kit light. So I've thrown it into a folder where I keep some websites. And as you can see, I have a couple of folders here. I just dragged the Polymer starter kit in here. I also made a uh, with about Bower and a without Bower folder for when we show you how to use Polymer that way. So I'm just going to change directory into the Polymer starter kit uh, wherever you have that located. And so now you can see what's in here. We just have an app folder. We have Bower.json. We have a README, a license, and a Bower RC file. And if we check out what's inside of our uh, starter kit here, we have a license file, a readme file, an app folder, and a bower.json file. If you're checking hidden files, you'll also see there's a .bowerrc file. We want to actually change directory now into the app folder. And again, let's see what's in there. We have an index.html, a manifest file, robots file, that sort of thing. So we want to start a simple HTTP server. We can do so with Python just by typing Python and then hyphen M, then simple HTTP in all caps, and then server, like so. Now when we hit enter, it's going to start a new local host for us at this uh, folder address. So let's go to our browser. And as you can see, with no effort here, we already have this Polymer starter kit up and running. What's cool about this is we can already come in here, we can change this welcome text to say hello, and we already have an example with a two-way data binding already going for us. We also have some various pages. This is a user section, we have a contact section. Now none of this stuff's really totally functional, but it's pretty cool to see with very little effort. We have some nice little material design flourishes, and we just have a nice uh, basic starter kit going for us. And let's check out what's going in the actual files. I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text. And as you can see, when we open up our app folder here, we have this index.html. And inside of here, we just have a standard HTML5 doc type. And we have inside of our head. And as you can see, that nothing's really crazy. If we scroll down, we see all these meta tags, which are various mobile tags for styling in your mobile browsers um, and icons and homepage icons, things like that. But if you'll see, we actually have, besides our style sheet at main.css, we also have this Bower underscore components, web components uh, JS, and then web components hyphen light dot JS. And we also are importing this link right here where we have elements forward slash elements dot HTML. Now, this may be new to you. When we explore our first element and we write our first element, you're going to see a little bit why this is, but we're essentially bringing in uh, our own custom element here where we're using some really interesting things. So this is this elements.html. You can paw through this if you'd like, but for now we're going to ignore that and we're just going to say that, hey, we got Polymer up and running and we're using this starter kit. But let's say you don't want uh, to use a starter kit, right? You just want to use Polymer on your project. Um, and maybe you're just starting your project and maybe you have your own themes and stuff like that you want to use. So let's go ahead and start a new project. I've downloaded just a standard HTML5 boilerplate here. And I'm going to open this up in Sublime Text. And as you can see, there's not really a whole lot here. Just a basic HTML page, uh, which includes uh, not a whole lot, just normalize, modernizer, that sort of stuff. So let's take this HTML5 boilerplate page and add Polymer to it using Bower. We'll server just by doing Control C. I'm going to change directory out of this 
and back into my polymer one folder where I had uh, several different boilerplate sites. So now I, I'm going to change directory into my with Bauer, this W underscore Bauer, which is like I said, is just an HTML5 boilerplate site with no additions to it. So we have this blank site here. Uh, we can see inside of it is all the stuff that we were just looking at in Sublime Text. Now let's go ahead and add Polymer to this using Bower. So we need to set up Bower first. We can do so by saying Bower init. Now if you don't have Bower, you can install it using npm just by simply typing npm install hyphen g Bower. You can go to bower.io to get that installed on your system. You'll need Node.js to have that installed but it's definitely worth having, so uh, no, don't feel weird about having it on your computer if you don't already. Okay, so now that we've hit Bower init, it's gonna ask us some details, and we don't have to fill any of these details out. So we can just simply hit enter to go through it. Um, we, can just, we can just keep hitting enter, uh, unless of course uh, this is a project that you plan on continuing to use, um, and then in fact, you'll wanna answer these questions. Okay. So we've hit enter through all of that. I'm just gonna hit yes to it looks good. And now we can install Polymer simply by typing Bower install, and we can have hyphen hyphen save. Now this adds the Polymer to our dependencies. So that way when we check this into our code base and maybe move it somewhere else, you can just run a Bower command and it's going to install the dependencies and that way you don't have to have uh, these dependencies saved in your code base in the first place. So we can have Bower install hyphen hyphen save. Now we're gonna type Polymer with a capital P, so Polymer forward slash, and then now Polymer with a lowercase p. Now the pound sign, then the up arrow, and then 1.0.0. Now we can just hit enter here, and it's going to grab our Polymer. Okay, and as you can see, it has added a Polymer to a web components folder in our project. So let's head back to Sublime Text, and you can see we have Bower components, and inside of here we have webcomponents.js, and we have our Polymer folder. So we now have Polymer in our project, and after we show you how to install it without Bower, we're gonna go ahead and start to use Polymer by importing the necessary scripts into our project and get going with Polymer. So if you wanna get going quick, use the starter kit. If you wanna get going on a blank project, go ahead and just use Bower. And if you don't wanna use Bower, check out the next video where we just show you how to download the latest version of Polymer and get going that way. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.